Hi everyone, welcome to Artistic Digitizer and our Tool Spotlight. I'm Anne Hine, Embroidery Software Specialist for Genome America, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Knife Tool. This is one of my most favorite tools, so let's get started. I'll go over here. Okay, I'm gonna open this design right here, this little uh, baby pin, and you can see it's all one piece. And I want to cut it apart right here. So I'm going to come in here to my outline shape tool, click on that. And then I'm just going to left click across the part I want to cut. My last one is a left click, then a right click and shape. I'll click select to end my tool. And then I'll hit shift and select both of those. So now I can right click and there's knife. You must have two things to get the knife to show. One is your line, and you must have your uh, piece that you want to cut selected as well. So now there is a little opening right here between the two parts. So if I select here, there's just a little bit of an opening there. And if I hit edit nodes, I can come in here and take a look at my nodes and figure out this is for the lower one. This is an upper one. There we go. This one is for up there, and this one is for down here. So now I have it separated a little bit. I can bring this one down like this and this one, and I could make it more pointy. Let's just bring it way down so we can see what's happening here. There we go. So you can reshape this now using your nodes to have more of a pin type shape. Let's move this down a little bit this way. There we go. And if I really wanted to be creative, I could come in here. Let's see if I can get all of these selected. I'm gonna hit, click off of there. I'm gonna go to select my piece, and then I'm going to click and drag. Oh, I don't have all of them yet. Let me get up here. There we go. Click and drag all of those. And then I can kind of bring them this way and rotate them a little bit like that. There we go. So it looks like my pin is open. Isn't that cool? Now I can always clean up any of these areas like right here, this doesn't look so great. Click edit nodes, zoom way in, and then these uh, cusp nodes, I'm just going to delete them. I don't think I really need them and I could bring the smooth nodes down and make that look better. So there we go, I have that all. Of course, this little bump in here, I could fix that as well. So that's a really easy thing to do. Let me show you something else you could do with it. I know you've seen uh, letters split um, apart, so let me show you how to do that. Here's my text tool. Anywhere I click on here is where my text is going to start. And I'm gonna just start over here. And up here, I'm gonna type the word spring. There we go. And I think I'm gonna go use my arrow key to go back and make the um, S a capital. There we go. Now, to do the uh, split, to split these with the knife, I again need to go to my outline shape, and then I can just make my shape go across my letters however I want. If I go in the wrong spot, I can hit uh, delete or backspace and just go across like this. There we go. And at the end, uh, left click, right click, and shape. Don't worry that it's outside. Hit your select and then hit shift and your letters and right click knife. And now they're all separated. So I can select the upper portions. I could select all the upper portions like this. And if I wanted to put a space in there, I could do that kind of thing with my arrow key or I could keep it all together and I could change the color of each of these as I select them. And I'm gonna go every other up and, up and down and change them this way. Here we go. And then if I wanted these to have an outline, I could come in here, go to properties, go to outline, satin serial, and then select outline and satin serial for each of these as I go along just to see which how I like them. 
I can also cut my letters even more just by adding another line and shape, select, select here, right click, knife. Now I have a spot up here and I could change that to maybe this light color here. So you can continue to change the colors. Within here, I can go back to my properties. I could go to fill. And if I want to put a pattern in there, I could put a pattern in these areas if I like. You could make them satin. These are pretty wide satins, but if you keep them in the step fill, you can do lots of creative things with them. So that's two things that you can do, and you can expand upon lettering this way as well. Let me show you if you have a design like this. This is a Jeff file. And I wanted to work with only this side of it. And when I click on this gray part, you can see in my sequence menu, all of these are connected. And my sequence window is open uh, because this is a Jeff file and I selected it, it's showing me all the parts. Now I don't want uh, this bottom part here. I'm just going to work with uh, this part over here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna uh, right click on this, select by color, and delete those yellow things because I don't need them. All right, down here, I'm going to draw my line so I can disconnect the parts. I'll go to digitize, outline shape, put my line right here, end shape, then I'll hit select. I'll click on the gray part. I might even click on that orange part and see what happens. It might pick it up. There's knife. There we go, it cut both of those sections and you can see these two are now separated and when I come down here, that is separated as well. So I could take this and just delete it out of the way and that one delete it out of my way and come back over here and I'm just gonna move this in a little bit like this, there we go. Maybe I wanna bring this flower over as well. I could bring that in, maybe put it Let's put it here for now. We'll have to play with it. And let's move all of this so it's inside my hoop. There we go. All right, now I know this gray part is above my pink part. So I do need to move it to the back. So I can right click on it and, or left click on it, right click and go to order to back of design. And now it moved it behind there. Same thing with this orange. I need to take that, go to order, back of design. There we go. So everything's in the correct order now. And maybe, yeah, I don't want that. I don't can delete this guy. I don't want him. Anything else in here that I don't want, I can come through and delete. I can take this and let's center it to my hoop. There we go. And I'm all set to go. Now I can play with that further. I can tidy up over here uh, by trimming this a little bit more and making that a little nicer or maybe I'm going to add a pot or some kind of thing right there uh, in my design. So there you go, that gives you a couple items, a couple different ways to use the knife tool. Give it a try, post your makes to our page. We love to see what you're working on and if you like using the tool. Thank you for joining me.